and welcome to March 2020's Stampin' Sunday blog hop, fourth Sunday of the month. And today I'm going to be featuring the Timeless Tulip stamp set, which is here. It has various floral, um, I guess they look like hand drawn and then very carefully shaded. So it's an interesting stamp set to use. And I'm going to show you a couple of techniques, well, a technique to kind of really get a nice effect with colour. So it comes with a matching punch, which, oh, I nearly lost it. There it is. Here it is on my desk. And uh, you can cut out those images, well, a couple of those images with the punch. And I've, again, I've got another tip for that one as well. So I've gone ahead and made a card. I'm sorry I've had to go ahead and make the whole projects because... Uh, as you probably know this week has been a bit crazy and uh, for most people around the world and I just ended up sitting here and getting on with the projects and so I'll, I'm going to go through how I've made everything rather than actually doing a lot in front of you. So first thing I would recommend is that if you're going to be stamping and cutting out a few of the uh, tulips or the leaves you actually get a piece of sh a strip of cardstock to do that with. Now I end up with loads of strips of spare scraps cardstock when I cut down card bases and things so this wasn't actually hard to kind of get hold of um, and you, you might find that you have these scrap in your, your craft room. So what I did was I, when I went to ink this stamp I used yellow, daffodil yellow or I used mango melody or flirty flamingo and so I would stamp then the ink pad in that and then I would get a brush and then add a darker shade along the bottom of the tulip and then up through where that petal comes to the side. So if I just show you from my other projects here, and now it's some bunting so it's some of it's got a little bit tangled. I'm just going to un unhook them. I've also used some foil thread as well and that just loves to hook onto everything but I love the effect so much that I'm making no apologies for it. So just take some moment to kind of get it all ready. Right there we go. So you can see from this tulip here it's Mango Melody base and then it's got a little bit of the Melon Mambo on there as well. And then with this one, it was the Daffodil Delight, and then I put a little bit of Granny Apple Green running through it. So you get these lovely different sort of shadings of tulips. And also I then stamped, I did second generation stamping. So all the lighter kind of looking tulips, like the one underneath there, they, they were all second generation. So when it came to actually stamping the, the leaf that the punch cuts out as well, I did the same. I just I just stamped them in a row across my page and I used Granny Apple Green and Co Coastal Cabana for that. So I did a little bit of a combination. I'd like ink it up by stamping the stamp into the green and then again with my brush I got a bit bit a little bit of Coastal Cabana and put that through the sides of it. And then sometimes I wouldn't I would just literally stamp the, the Granny Apple Green. So here is my bunting. I'll just quickly go through all the different pieces. Uh, I also used a piece of the vellum that's free at the moment with Celebration. So when you spend £45, you get a pack of this beautiful vellum. You get three colours. This is the, the green one, the soft sea foam. And then I also made use of the Celebration B papers and cut out some bees to decorate and as you can see I coloured my bees in with a Paul Party uh, Stampin' Right marker and then also an early espresso just for the body because I thought when I cut them out they were a little bit plain and just the gold and the white so I wanted them to stand out a bit more. So oh and then the sequins were from again that free pack from Celebration and also the thread that I threaded it onto. Of course, you can use whatever sequins and embellishments you have in your stash. It just so happened I had that spare. So I've got this lovely set of bunting here. Uh, be perfect for like a bit spring birthday. And um, it, yeah, it just looks so pretty. I'm really pleased how it turned out. Uh, just a word on this section here where, where I've got the 
extra layer of the vellum I stuck the vellum down with some sticky um, dimension with the dimensionals because I thought we're not going to see it anyway and then normally I wouldn't like to have the thread showing I, I tend to put it round the back but because I ended up sticking um, the two pieces together I thought actually I don't mind the thread showing because it's so pretty and it's got that kind of glitter element running through it that it's really yeah it looks fine uh, then the final thing to say is that here are I also use some of the, the pink um, metallic thread so before I stuck down my tulips I just kind of bunched up a whole load of thread put it on the cardstock and then stuck the tulips on top of it so um, as you can see it's kind of just like a bit of extra texture and, and froth and you know it just makes it a little bit more interesting oh I forgot to tell you before I stuck all those down I actually stamped can you see the background here so this is um, Coastal Cabana cardstock and I stamped in Coastal Cabana ink the tulips in the background on the blue one on the green one I mounted the leaves and I stamped the leaves in the background of gran with the granny apple green and then on the yellow cardstock I actually took the two stems from this stamp set here I straightened that one out and put it on a block the two together and I just stamped these stripes going down the bunting there like that so there you have it that's my spring bunting for the Stampin' Sunday blog hop please do go and check out what everybody else has done uh, the link to my blog post will be below and also once you hit that uh, link then the list of all the other participants will be on there too so have a great day and uh, enjoy hopping and seeing all the other beautiful creations from people around the world and uh, i look forward to seeing you again soon take care for now bye